All right, welcome back, good people. This video, I'm titling some very interesting statistics about life. Now, one of the things that we all know in life is that things happen whether you are ready for them or not, right? Things happen sometimes in a way that kind of tests our ability to withstand some things, <laughs> right? Kind of puts us in a, in a position where uh, we either put up or shit up sometimes, right? So one of the things that I like to do is I like to share perspectives or different opinions about things that um, that a person normally wouldn't think of, right? Because think about this. If you're getting all your information or you're getting all your understanding from one or two sources, uh, maybe three sources, uh, you're kind of being limited because there are so many other ways you can gain information or get an understanding about something. And the understanding is what allows us to make a determination from a, a different perspective, right? In other words, if I ask you about, uh, let's say, uh, Chinese arithmetic, if you don't know anything about Chinese arithmetic, then you really can't give me your perspective. You can give me an opinion, but your perspective requires you to know something about that, right, in order for me to uh, use that or make sense of it. So I'm going to uh, name some of these off and you just listen. That's what this week's video is going to be pretty much about because I wanted to uh, do a system this week about personal development. You know, that's my second uh, world right there, personal development, first business and personal development. I believe they go hand in hand. Because I believe a good businessman or woman has a really good understanding of who they are and what they're doing in this world, on this planet. And I also believe that many of us have the ability to be entrepreneurs. Actually, we should be entrepreneurs in my, my way of thinking because we should have some way to generate money other than just go to work for someone, right? And there are so many different ways, especially nowadays in the 21st century, to just, you know, have money trickle in a little bit. If it can trickle in, like, say, $50 a week, $100 a week, you know, then it goes up, you know, maybe $200 a week, maybe $1,000 a month, then that can, that can actually change your life and your lifestyle in a very quick time. Because now you have resources to think about what to do with rather than what if you had those resources, right? There's a big difference there. Okay, so the first one says, human life expectancy has increased more in the past 50 years than in the last 200,000 years. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Human life expectancy has increased more in the past 50 years than in the last 200,000 years. That was incredible when I read that. I was like, wow. So that means people are living longer, but because of, you know, habits or diets, they're not living as well, right? They're, you know, like if you, if you get in a position where your health becomes a major obstacle for you on a daily basis, you're having to address that. You have to address that. You, have, you just have to. All right, the second one is, more things live on your skin than there are humans on planet Earth. That's right. More things live on your skin than there are humans on planet Earth. Boy, that's that's a that's a mind bender right there. If you if you think about that, you know you would never know that. You would never even think about that. But there's over seven billion people on the planet. <laughs> think about that. All right, the next one says, speaking of skin, during your lifetime, your skin will, will replace itself on average of 900 times during your lifetime. See, these type of questions right here, you wouldn't normally hear, right? So when you hear them, your mind or your uh, ego or your uh, understanding or your perspective takes over, right? Uh the fourth one, there's actually 20 of these, so I'm going to take them one at a time. The fourth one says, you'll spend about three months of your life on the toilet. <laughs> I 
I thought that was comical. So how long are we living, right? And I bet you there is people who spend more time on the toilet than three months. All right, number five. 80% of humanity lives on less than $10 per day. Eight zero percent of humanity lives on less than $10 per day. Again, these are some very interesting statistics about life. Number six, the average person will spend nearly six months of their life talking on the phone. Six months. <laughs> these, these are like, I don't believe that. I, I see some people who never, it seems like they never are off the phone. And my mind is like, why are you so connected to that phone? Who is on the other end? And why are they requiring you to talk to them that much. <laughs> and I still haven't been able to figure that out. All right, number six. That, no, no, okay, number seven. People who have a solid community of friends nearly live nearly four years longer than people who don't. Four years. Just by having a solid community of friends. Number eight. If you sit for more than three hours every day, you're cutting nearly two years off your life expectancy. Now, think about over-the-road drivers or people who drive for a living. They sometimes go eight or nine hours, maybe even more, I don't know, uh, behind the wheel. That's sitting. That's the sitting position. So that life expectancy is going to be kind of dwindling, right? Number nine. People who jog live almost six years longer than people who don't. People who jog live almost six years <laughs> more than those who don't. Now, jogging can be the treadmill or the elliptic machine too, right? As long as you're doing that motion, you can possibly live longer and definitely healthier, right? All right, uh, let's see, where am I? Number... 10. An average person can survive nearly two months without eating. That's a long time. And I'll bet you are in bad shape at the end of that two months, right? You're like ready to check out. That's a lot of time without eating, especially when you're accustomed to eating. Uh, number 11. Part of the reason why women live longer than men is because their immune systems age more slowly. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Female versus male, that their immune system uh, ages slower than the male. Hmm. Number 12, the average person spends two weeks of his or her life kissing. <laughs> Are you average? Or are you above average? There are some people, uh, I know some people who are huggers. When I say huggers, I'm like, they hug everybody. And my mind is thinking, like, I understand that from a perspective of energy being transferred. Because when you hug someone, your energy is being transferred to them. And if you don't believe that, hug them and keep holding them. <laughs> They'll be pulling away, like, get, get away, get away. All right, that's how that works. All right, uh, the next one is, every year, life expectancy increases by three months. That's because of the technology and the doctor's uh, new medication and all that, right? Every year, life expectancy increases by three months. Number 14, the average person will talk 120,000, no, the average person will walk 120,000 kilometers or 75,000 miles in their life. That's a little bit over three times around the world. Now, isn't that an interesting statistic? The average person will walk 120,000 kilometers or 75,000 miles in their life. That's a little bit over three times around the world. Just imagine how, how who calculates this stuff, <laughs> right? Those are incredible statistics to me. I, I, I'm, I'm excited by that. That in, in my mind says to, to me, wow, what else is available? 
right? Tell me something else. Tell me more. All right, number 15. Every cigarette you smoke reduces your life expectancy by 11 minutes. Every cigarette you smoke reduces your life expectancy by 11 minutes. Now, I'm not a smoker, but I was a smoker at one time. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me tell you a little story. Uh, as a smoker, uh, I think a lot of smokers try and stop quitting. I'm going to stop smoking. I believe that that's something that comes to them at some point. You know, I'm going to stop smoking. I don't want to smoke anymore. But it's a habit. So uh, as you're going through life on a regular basis, you're going to pick up habits along the way. And as you pick up those habits, sometimes consciously or unconsciously, they get locked in. And for if you do them for years, they become second nature, right? It's like, you know, getting out of bed and washing your face or using the bathroom. That is going to happen. So uh, as a smoker, I couldn't stop smoking. So what I did, I went and got hypnotized. And I got hypnotized, and as soon as I got hypnotized, I didn't smoke another cigarette. Not another. I had no desire for a cigarette whatsoever. And I was so satisfied with the process and the results that I took my mother to get hypnotized at the same place and boom she smoked for like 40 years stopped didn't smoke another cigarette and to this day neither of us have smoked another cigarette or have a desire and do I believe that that makes my life better yeah, absolutely because I'm healthier you know I've always been athletic and I've always been uh, kind of a gym rat but Still, I was a smoker, so I was, according to this, taking 11 minutes off of my life for each cigarette, so that's no longer the case. I just want to share that with you guys. All right, number 16, your probability of living to more than 110 years old is 1 in 7 million. 1 in 7 million are the chances of that happening. Number 17, the average person will yawn about 250,000 times during their lifetime. <laughs> Who counts these again? Who does the research? Okay, number 18. An average American will eat 35 tons of food in their lifetime. A ton is 2,000 pounds. The average American will eat 35 of those during their lifetime. Number 19. Men spend roughly six months of their life shaving. <laughs> and if you have a beard, oh, I bet that's even more, right? Or, no, I don't know, because I shave like every day, you know, but just my face. Uh, I shave my head every third day. See, we have systems as, as we have to acclimate and adjust to certain things. Like, I used to have hair. I know that seems strange. But at that point, I would go to the barber like once a week. But... Doing it myself, I'm able to do it twice a, a week, right? So I shave my head twice a week. That's just what I do. All right, uh, number 19. No, no, number 20. This is the final one. It says, two-thirds of all people in the history of the world that have lived to be 65 years old are alive today. <laughs> uh, what? I know. I said the same thing when I read that. Let me read that again. Two-thirds of all people in the history of the world that have lived to be 65 years old are alive today. So what does that tell you? It tells me that people were dying way in the past before 65. Today is a good time. It's a good time to live to you know, 100, 110 or whatever it can be. And you can live in a healthy state, right? And that's what you want to focus on. All right, so did you like that? I, I enjoy sharing that with you guys. I hope you got something out of that, and I hope you share that with somebody. Remember, share these videos, like these videos, and don't have me say that every time I finish a video. <laughs> Just kidding. Speak Larry on the next video.